Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at two quick ways to calculate or correlation coefficient in Google Sheets. We'll also be looking at how to find our best fit regression equation in Google Sheets as well. All right, so the first thing we want to do to get started is to make sure that we have our data in Google Sheets and in the right position. So our spent studying could possibly cause one to do better or worse in a test. So because the hours spent studying is a thing that could cause that change, that is our independent variable. And because this could result from the hours of studying, that is our dependent variable. So now that we know that, our independent variable should be placed first and our dependent variable should be placed second, which it currently is. All right, so now that everything is all set up, in order to calculate the correlation coefficient, we have to use a formula. Our formula here is, always start every formula with the equal sign, and we have C-O-R, and as you can see, C-O-R-R-E-L is our formula for coefficient. So we can go ahead and type the rest of that. Open parenthesis, now we take our x values, or values that are from the independent variable, and highlight them, comma, and we do the same for the dependent variable. Once that's done, we close our parentheses and press enter, and that number is the correlation coefficient. So that's one way to find the correlation coefficient in Google Sheets, but there's another way that's quite helpful as well. Let's say we want to see what the scatter plot looks like and the best fit regression line looks like. We can do that all together. So instead of using a formula, we can highlight both of our columns, including the headings, and we can insert a chart. Once we've inserted the chart, of course, you can look at the axes labels, make sure everything is set up correctly. But for me, for this video, I wanted to focus on the best fit regression line and the correlation coefficient. In order to see the correlation coefficient, you want to make sure that you are in fact looking at a scatter plot, which we are, and go ahead and go to customize. From there, you want to click the series arrow. Scroll down and click trend line. As you can see, this is our best fit regression line. If we want to see the equation of the line, we can go ahead and label the line with its equation. So under label, we click use equation, and then we click show R squared value. Now, before I click R squared value, it's important to note that R squared is not our correlation coefficient. R squared is a number called the coefficient of determination. In order to find the correlation coefficient after seeing the, co the coefficient of determination, all we need to do is square root this value and determine if the correlation coefficient is positive or negative. So let's go ahead and see what these numbers mean. So as you can see here, that is the equation of the line of best fit. However, there is no y indicated here. So if we're actually typing that equation, it would be y is equal to 3.32x plus 62.9 and that's the equation of our best fit regression line. Our correlation coefficient is the square root of r squared. So in order to find that number we can go ahead and square root that value in our calculators or in Google Sheets. I'm going to do it in Google Sheets and the formula for square root is sqrt open parenthesis and I'm going to type that value 0.95 close my parenthesis and press enter and as you can see our values are approximately the same. The values are approximately the same because this was a rounded value. Now is this necessarily always going to be our correlation coefficient? Not necessarily always the case. If our line had a negative slope, so if our line was pointing downwards uh, like what I'm tracing right now, that would have a negative correlation coefficient. So when you're square rooting the coefficient of determination, always make sure to pay attention to the slope of the line. 
and make sure that your slope of your line is correct. So here we have it. Now we've seen two ways to calculate our correlation coefficient using Google Sheets. And we've seen how to calculate the best fit regression line. These skills will serve you a lot in the long run because the calculations using the formulas are extremely time consuming. All right, I hope that helps.